Buckle up. Buckling up. Just like what you said. Yes. This is first. As we almost as we <laughs> almost get hit by a car. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, there's been a lot of honking today. Yeah. Today has been chaotic. Flashback. Okay, so that was weird. I've never had to sign for anything with the PO box. So, for, so whoever sent me that, first of all, thank you. So right now what we're doing is, as you can see, it's a pretty overcast day here, but we found ourselves a Barnes & Noble that's actually pretty unique. From my understanding, I've never been to it, but it's in Studio City and I think itself is like built from like an old theater, like they repurposed an old thing. It, it is really unique from the pictures that we saw online. And then there was me getting lost on the way over here. The vibes. And just like that, I find myself on the road again. Today we are continuing our grand adventure across California visiting three different cities, first stopping by Studio City, Burbank, and of course for the grand finale at one of my favorite shops ever over in Pasadena. Okay, so check this out. I've never, have you guys ever seen a Barnes & Noble like that? Barnes & Noble. It looks like they turned like a theater straight up into a Barnes & Noble. So we'll go, you wanna cross up there? You wanna cross up there? Let's go up here and then we'll, we'll go down. And once again, I find myself wandering the aisles of a Barnes Noble. However, this time it is a bit different and it took us a minute to sort of get used to our surroundings and just how unique this Barnes & Noble location is. Formerly known as the Fox Studio Theater, which opened all the way back in 1938, this building is now a Barnes & Noble and thriving in the heart of Studio City, California. Now, if you're like me and very eager to look at the BOGO sale that Barnes & Noble recently had, and you were looking for the manga section at this Barnes & Noble location, you would walk in and head over to the left-hand side of the store where they have a giant selection of manga here. A lot more than I thought they would have. Starts here and it goes all the way. Now, with a wall this long of manga, there's really only one strategy, which is just pick a side and then just start browsing. So we headed all the way back to the other end and I quickly already found the first pickup of the day, which is a manga I've been meaning to pick up for a while, which is Chojin X. As you can clearly see, I was a man on a mission, and at this point, we hadn't been filming long, and we each had <laughs> we each had a bunch of pickups. So, as you saw a second ago, I had to go find a cart. But this was moments before that when I was slowly realizing, yeah, we're gonna take advantage of this deal. Now, the next question you might be thinking is, what deal? And you saw me mention in the beginning of the video the Barnes and Noble buy one get one 50% off, or a Bogo deal, like we call it in the community. Sales like these happen every once in a while, so if you've just started collecting manga, you're gonna wanna keep your eye out for sales like these. They're a phenomenal time to pick up physical manga, and you can pick it up both online or, just like here, in person. <laughs> So 
think now is the opportune time to ask, because I know this was so popular, how many of you guys pick something up from this deal? I know there's a lot of us out there. Now, when one goes manga shopping, there should also be a manga shopping list. Uh, at least sometimes. I mean, I, I, okay, fine. Sometimes I don't have a list. But in all seriousness, in my defense, there was a lot of inventory here that you could tell people have been, what am I looking for here? People have clearly been shopping because of the sale. However, I, I almost, I was this close. If you didn't know, I haven't started JoJo's yet. So, I mean, well, if you didn't know, now you do. But I was this close to just bulk buying JoJo's. Although I decided today was not that day, but soon. It will happen soon, I promise. species reviewers. There is just something beautiful about the fact that this used to be a theater, but now it's a bookstore and the vibes are immaculate in here. And if you ever have a chance to stop by the Studio City Barnes & Noble, I highly recommend it. All right, thanks guys. Thank, Thank you. It's raining, small break right now, but man. Okay, so today we are, yet again, we are going manga shopping. Oh man, it is boring over here. Oh, oh shit. Yo, it picked up. All right, let's go. Ah. Okay, Whew, thank gosh we had one of these. We are here at House of Secrets. I've never been here before, but I'm eager to see what they have. I'm guessing they're gonna have manga. I don't even know, but I have heard of this, so I, I'm banking on that they do. You gotta get under here. It's a cool bench. Hey, how are you? Now, as we continue this a little road trip here for 72 hours, we begin day two in Burbank, California, which is typically sunny Burbank, California. However, today, well, it, it, it's raining, so we're at a cozy comic book shop looking for manga, one that I've never been to. Now, there are a ton of comic book shops riddled throughout Burbank, but you'd be surprised how many of them just really don't carry too much manga, if any. This is where House of Secrets comes in. As you can tell, it's not the biggest store and it doesn't have the biggest manga section, but they do buy and sell manga. So every once in a while, you might find that unsuspecting treasure, the diamond in the rough. Their manga selection was truly all over the place. I could not wrap my head around it, but while sifting through the chaos, there were quite a few unique finds. I mean, we're talking about really odd niche specific slice of life series to older Tokyo pop stuff to Gantz in all of its forms, Blade of the Immortal in all of its forms. Uh, it is, it was, it's interesting. Okay, it was an interesting experience. have Welcome to the NHK. I'm gonna get this just to get it. Volume three, I think. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't even know this had a manga. Cool, thank, what was your name? I'm Leland. Leland, Ben. Pleasure nice to meet you, Leland. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, brother. 
Okay, so what's the final verdict on House of Secrets? Okay, it's clearly not the best place for manga, but because they do buy and sell manga here, you never know what you're gonna find. So if you happen to already be in the area, I wouldn't road trip out here, but if you're in the area already, maybe you're grabbing coffee, it might be worth a stop. Okay, so that was not what I expected at all. Really small manga collection, really small manga selection, excuse me, for the size of the manga section that they have. I think it's really good. Uh, they clearly are more of a comic book store than manga shop, like the guy was saying. I don't know if you'll be able to see that footage in the actual video itself due to the copyright music, but they're obviously more manga focused, or I'm sorry, comic book focused than manga. I mean, we found Welcome to the NHK, which is like an old Tokyo pop thing. So I don't know if they bought that from someone or something, but is it the cheapest? No, but it could be fun, especially if you're in the Burbank area. You want to go grab coffee, come around here. So it's good. I recommend it. Now there are two types of people for cold, rainy days. Okay, I'm the type that wants something warm, like a nice hot cup of coffee. But there are other people that want Ice cream? Oreo blizzard? Small. Okay. Uh, this guy acting like it's getting Starbucks is an original idea, but we do it like every day. Uh, I can't open the door with two drinks. Uh. <sighs> okay, I got the coffee. Whew. All right, we can go now. We're on the road again. Got my coffee in my hand. I only know the part that goes on the road. We're on the road again. Do you know who does that song? Um, um, Billy Cyrus. I don't know who originally wrote it, but I, I know it from uh, Willie Nelson. Oh, I don't know who that is. Okay, so today I am taking you guys, we are headed into Pasadena, California, and I'm going to take you to one of my favorite underrated low-key places to buy manga, which is called Comics Factory. Last time I made a video here, a lot of people had no idea this place existed, and a lot of you mentioned you were from California and had zero idea that this place existed. So we're going to take you guys back there as we travel pretty much across California to find all of the best places to buy manga. I'm really excited to show you this one. We'll see you there in just a second. Okay, so we made it here to Comics Factory. This is, like I mentioned before, one of the best places that I know to buy manga. I'm very excited to be here. It's a small mom and pop shop that has been here for a while in Pasadena. They have a giant wall of manga plus an entire other manga section, which we'll see right now. So follow me inside. Hi, how are you? It's almost overwhelming when you see it, like, I, cause I haven't been here in forever. So it's like, when you first see it, it's kind of like, and they, they have, so the manga section starts here. Okay. And these are just a giant shelf. So from here, all of this, all of this, all of this, and then it keeps all of this all over here. And then ends at this stand, like right here with the Viz new releases. This oh, is crazy. Isn't this wall over oh, here? Oh yeah, and they have this giant wall over here too. Like this is, guys, this this is probably even more manga. I don't know, maybe it's just because it's condensed. Yeah, they have that right here too. But it just, it feels like, I can't I can't even explain it. Look, a bunch of Yakate Japan. I'm gonna ask if they have a cart. Okay, so upon entering the bookstore, you're just gonna head straight back and eventually you'll hit their giant manga section like you're seeing now on screen. 
Three things I love about shopping here. Number one, the parking. There always is street parking. It's so convenient, especially if you're new to shopping in Los Angeles, especially like in little Tokyo where parking can sometimes be a nightmare. Number two and three are the selection that this store offers and how enthusiastic and knowledgeable about manga the staff is. You're Boogie Snaps, right? Yeah. Good to see you again. It's good to see you, yeah. But she was actually supposed to be a dog crate. Oh, you have what? air gear. You got a dog. This right here is why I love going into stores and shopping and making these vlogs. It's making the friends. I hate to say it, but it's like the friends you make along the way. No, but really, we made some friends here while filming, and it's just so wholesome. It's just, it adds to the magic of going hunting for manga. I, I, I love it. Okay, so hold on, we've got ahead of ourselves. Let's rewind the clock a little bit because I know you saw me holding like a pile of manga and yeah, I didn't really plan to buy as much as I did here, but I did, so let's rewind the clocks a little bit. Okay, so when we first started shopping, I was actually looking for a volume or two of Hikaru no Go, and I actually, I found, I found one. Okay. Okay, you see those volumes of Non Non Biori? Remember them, they're gonna be important in just a second. Okay, it's the combination of the atmosphere, like the size of the shelves, the, the sheer amount of manga, it is intimidating. I'm gonna use the word intimidating to just sift through all of this stuff. And some of it's new, some of it's old. It's, oh my gosh, I love this place, but oh, it takes forever to find anything. I'm the kind of guy that likes a wholesome slice of life series and Non Non Biori is just that. And I've been looking for these volumes for a long time. So I found myself, I mean, yeah, I bought everything that they had except for all the doubles that were in stock. Oh my God, look, they have all of this too. Okay, I had to start exercising some self-control, whatever was left of my self-control because we turned around and there was a whole other shelf that needed our attention. place dude Two. i was just saying to the to the camera actually like it's why is this so underrated i have no idea but it really is they, the place to be so long. i like um so i live near here and i've i've been to like i swear every store within just like miles and miles and right. miles right and for some reason i just never came here and then I, I finally came here and i was like this is so good yep everything here is so good <laughs> This is one of my happy places to shop. This is a store that I can spend hours and hours and hours in. And honestly, I know that not everyone can have a buddy to go manga shopping with. When I first started to make content, I wanted to share my life with everyone and just take you along on adventures. And I hope that those that maybe can't go out manga shopping, or maybe you can, either way, it brings a sense of comfort and just adventure with you guys. And I can bring you along and I hope that you guys do dig this because I'm having the time of my life and I'm just very grateful to be in my situation that I am now. So after all that is said and done, what are my final thoughts? on Comics Factory. I mean, I think it's pretty clear by now. I, I love this place. If I have any friends that visit me from out of town, Comics Factory is one of the places I'll take them to if they wanna go manga shopping. And why I take them is the experience this store has to offer. This place is run by people that love what they do and it's so apparent all over the store. I really wish more people knew about this place. So if you've seen this video and you would live in Southern California, you're gonna visit Southern California, make the trip out here. Let them know that Boogie sent you. But this is one of my happy places 
it's truly a wonderful place to buy manga. I think the biggest question here, since we're all collecting manga, is the price. Okay, it could be the best place in the world, but if their prices aren't competitive, it doesn't offer the biggest incentive to go shopping there. And they are a small mom and pop shop, which means it's going to have a hard time competing with like the BOGO deals you're seeing at the beginning of this video or the ones that you might see on Amazon, etc. But what it lacks in sales, it makes up for in strides with just atmosphere, staff, the people that come here and a wide selection of things that are both old, new, trendy, niche, you name it. So in this video, I've taken you to three different cities on three different adventures to buy manga. So I think we're gonna wrap it up here. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. We have a ton of vlogs and a ton of videos planned for the rest of the year. And I'm very excited to show you what we have in store here on the channel. If you're at all curious about my own personal manga collection, I will of course link that down below in the description box or all of the other vlogs so you guys can get caught up if you've missed any. Once again, thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye.